Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, we will see another type of problems where we will be using VN method to find out the sum of miscellaneous series. Let's uh, look at this example. 3 into 5 plus 5 into 7 plus 7 into 9 plus 9 into 11 like that we have n terms. Now we have taken a simple example because this example whatever we are trying to do with that we will also derive the formula. Once we derive the formula we can generalize this and we can do it for any number of terms with any common difference. So instead of first term 3 into 5 if it is 3 into 5 into 7 into 9 into 11 then also we can apply whatever the formula whatever the method we are doing that method can be easily applicable to any type of problem. So let's go ahead and try to solve this simple problem how to do it using VN method. Okay right first 3 into 5 first I'll take the first term 3 into 5. Now as part of VN method what we want to do we want to take a term and want to write it as difference of two consecutive terms of another sequence. So now 3 into 5 is 3 into 5 is what I have. Now I want to write it as difference of two consecutive terms. My thought process will be 3 and 5 are there. So can I put 7 and 1 then one time I can say 7 5 3 then another time I can say 5 3 1 and they seems to be exactly fitting to our requirement that it should be two consecutive terms of another sequence. Now what I have is 3 5 but I have another series where one term is 7 5 3 another term is 5 3 1 where this is first term and this is the v1 and 0 where this is v1. So if you are able to do that then each term we can expand and they will cancel and we will get our answer. So to do that what we will do? I will write down 3 into 5 as yes. 7 the term which will the next term minus the term before 1 3 5 7 so 7 minus 1 the difference is 6 so I will divide with 6 and we will multiply with 3 into 5 so this will be nothing but 1 by 6 into 7 into 5 into 3 minus 5 into 3 into 1 here we call 7 5 3 v1 and 5 3 1 as v0. Similarly, can we take the next one? Suppose we have 5 and 7, I can take 5 and 7, I can write it as 5 7. After that will come 9. Before 5, what will be the term? They are in arithmetic progression, right? So that's nothing but 9 minus 3 divided by 6 into again multiply that with 5 and 7 which is nothing but equal to 1 by 6 into now I have 9 7 5 minus 7 5 3 now you can see if I add first term and second term I see that 7 5 3 is gets cancelled and when I go to the next time 9 7 5 will cancel like that all the terms will cancel only the terms only the terms which will be left out are v0 and vn so let us see that for that i will do i'll just give here names again this is my v2 and this is my v1 okay let's go to the let's go to the suppose let's go to one more then we will go to the nth term let us go to the next one 7 9 okay 7 9 after 9 what comes 11 before 7 what comes 5 11 minus 5 divided by 6 so that 6 by 6 equal to 1 and this I have to multiply with 7 and 9 which is nothing but equal to 1 by 6 into now I will have 11 9 7 minus 9 7 5 you can see very clearly now we have here 11 9 7 is our v3 
and 975 is V2. So you can see that when I add these three terms, V1 will cancel, V2 will cancel. Like that when I go to N terms, only the thing left out with me is the Vn term and the V0 term. So let us see how the nth term will come. Nth term will be nothing but first let us see for 3 and 5, 7 what will be for 3 and 5 what will be what is our v0 v0 v1 is 753 so v1 is 753 v0 is 531 let's find out what will be the nth term we know that nth term is 2n plus 1 and 2n plus 3 we'll see how we have got it if you take 3 5 7 9 it's nothing but 3 plus n minus 1 into 2 which is equal to 2n plus 1. Similarly, if you take 5, 7, 9, 11, we have 5 plus n minus 1 into 2 that is equal to 2n plus 3. So, what I need is now 2n plus 1 into 2n plus 3 which can be written as what is next to 2n plus 3, 2n plus 5 minus of what is before 2n plus 1? I have to subtract 2 if you understand because the difference is 2 divided by 6 into 2n plus 1 into 2n plus 3. This is nothing but equal to 1 by 6 of, this is equal to 1 by 6 of Vn. That's what I am going to get now. That is nothing but 2n plus 5 into 2n plus 3 into 2n plus 1 minus of 2n plus 3 into 2n plus 1 into 2n minus 1. Now, when I sum all these up, when I just try to add all these terms, what will happen? V1, V1 will cancel, V2, V2 will cancel, V3 will cancel and also my last term will cancel. So what is left out is, what is left out is the Vn term, the Vn term and the V0 term. So when I sum them up, it will be like 1 by 6 into Vn, Vn is nothing but 2n plus 5 into 2n plus 3 into 2n plus 1 minus of v0. v0 is nothing but 5 into 3 into 1. So, this is the sum of all the terms. So, what is that? 1 by 6 into 2n plus 5 into 2n plus 3 into 2n plus 1 minus of 5 into 3 into 1. Now, how to do suppose you have to do it in competitive exam what is the formula we have to use so that we don't need to go through all this so let me tell you that for competitive exams to write down your formula will be this you will write down sn equal to 1 by r plus 1 into d into vn minus v0 where vn equal to where Vn equal to, V0 comes when you put N equal to 0. Vn is nothing but, suppose I have been given 3 and 5. I have been given 3 and 5. What is nth term of 3? If you are starting with 3, that is nothing but equal to 2n plus 1. Then for 5, what is the nth term? 5 plus n minus 2, 2n plus 3. Then we have to put one more term we have to put one more next term to that. That is our Vn. Please understand that. Vn will be nothing but An of start arithmetic progression starting with 3. An of arithmetic progression starting with 5. That is nothing but 2n plus 1, 2m plus 3. Then what is the next term after 5? That is nothing but 7. So for 7, that's nothing but 2n plus 5. So this is your Vn and the formula is Sn equal to 1 by r plus 1 into d into Vn minus V0. If you substitute, if you want, r is how many terms are there? Two terms are there. So can I write down 2 plus 1 is 3 into d is common difference is 2 into Vn that is nothing but 
टू एन प्लस फाइव इंटू टू एन प्लस थ्री इंटू टू एन प्लस वन माइनस ऑफ वी जीरो पुट जीरो हियर दैट्स नथिंग बट एन इक्वल टू जीरो विल गिव मी फाइव इंटू थ्री इंटू वन सो इंस्टेड ऑफ डूइंग द होल एक्सरसाइज यू कैन डायरेक्टली लुक एट द प्रॉब्लम एंड यू कैन राइट इट डाउन सो for competitive exams let me repeat this how will we do suppose we have been given 3 and 5 first thing i will do how many terms are there two terms are there so r is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 common difference 3 5 7 9 what is the common difference 2 so 3 into 2 6 i will tell you actually why that is r plus 1 into d also it is very simple now vn minus v0 anyway we have seen that they all will be cancelling it out so vn is nothing but nth an of tn or an of first term starting with 3 an is difference is 2 starting with 3 2n plus 1 for 3 it is 2n plus 1 for 5 it is 2n plus 3 then after that you have to write the next term of this particular sequence 2n plus 1 2n plus 3 next will be 2n plus 5 this is your vn That minus of v zero, v zero means just simply put n equal to zero. You will be getting your answer. We can actually verify this. I did that already. So, but I'll do it for you. Let us say s of one. Let us say s of one. S of one is nothing but three into five is equal to fifteen. According to our formula, s of one equal to one by six into n equal to one. That is nothing but seven into five into 3 minus 5 into 3 into 1. We can check that 1 by 6 into 105 minus 15. That is 1 by 6 into 90, which is equal to 15. We can check for n equal to 2. Maybe after that we can stop. Then I'll tell you how this r plus 1 into d came. Then we will do maybe another example like this. Suppose we take suppose we take n equal to 2. N equal to 2 according to According to whatever we have been given, s of two equal to three into five fifteen plus five into seven thirty five. That's equal to fifty. According to our formula, one by six into two n plus five two into two four four plus five nine nine seven five minus five three one. We'll simplify this. One by six into three hundred fifteen minus fifteen. That is three hundred by six, which is equal to fifty. So this is good to go. It has been verified, and there is no problem with that. So please remember, if you don't need to do the steps, you have to just simply pick an option, multiple choice question. You have to pick a MCQ, or you have to just write the fill in the blank answer. Then what you will do? We will say that three and five. Suppose is the starting three. What is the a n term? Two n plus one. Five. What is the a n term? Two n plus three. What is the common difference? Two. So the next one will be two n plus five. That is your v n. Simple. V n minus v zero. Put n equal to zero. You will be getting your v zero. And what is that? I have to divide that with one by r plus one into d. R is how many terms are there? Two terms are there. Two plus one is three. Into d two. Now three into t, three into two, six. Now let me tell you why it is r plus one into d. Let us say that suppose instead of three and five, it is first term is a one, a two, a three, a four. Okay, right. So let us say something like a one. Okay, let let us say. Okay, let us say that. Okay, let us say that a. One, okay. Let us say a two, a three, a four. Why I am taking that? I will tell you. Suppose these are the starting numbers like three and five. What will be the number here which is coming a one, and the number which will be coming here is a five. What is that we are doing now? Actually, we are doing. We are writing down a f minus a one into. Whatever is given to that a t a two a three a four, so that we can write down a five a four a three a two minus a three a four a three a two a one. But what is a five minus a one? A five is a plus four d minus a. That is nothing but equal to four d. What is this four d? Nothing but four d is nothing but how many terms are there plus one? How many terms we have? One, two, three. So three terms, it is four d. Suppose it is r terms, it is r plus one into d. I hope I'm, I hope I'm clear that you are able to understand why it is r plus one into d. 
suppose you have three terms you are taking the suppose you have three terms let us say you have three terms let us say a 1 1 i have a 1 2 i have a 1 3 the when you try to change them what you have to divide what you go you go to the next term here and you go to the next term here now a 14 minus a 10 will be how much a plus 13 d minus a plus 10 that a plus 9 d that's nothing but 4 d only right 4 d is nothing but how many terms are given exactly to us three terms three plus one so that is r plus one into d so this is how we can do that let's do one simple example we'll finish it very fast let us say suppose now we have to find out 1 into 3 into 5 into 7 into 9 plus 3 into 5 into 5 into 7 into 9 into 11 5 times we have like this we have to go for n terms now tell me what will be our Sn Sn equal to 1 by r plus 1 how many terms are there 1 2 3 4 5 terms are there 5 plus 1 6 into what is the difference between them 2 then what is our vn vn is nothing but i have to take 1 1 is nothing but 2n minus 1 then 3 is nothing but 2n plus 1 5 is 2n plus 3 7 is 2n plus 5 9 is 2n plus 7 and after that you know that I have to add the next term that is 2n plus 9 this is nothing but our vn minus of v0 so put 0 here what we will be getting when we put 0 so our next step will be sn equal to sn equal to 1 by 12 into our final answer will be 2n minus 1 into 2n plus 1 into 2n plus 3 that's what is given to us into 2n plus 5 so we have 2n minus 1 2n plus 1 2n plus 3 2n plus 5 2n plus 7 multiply that with 2n plus 7 then we have 2n plus 9 we have to subtract it minus of minus is plus plus 1 into 3 into 5 into 7 into 9 so this is the sn formula so I hope that's clear. Please do let me know your feedback on that. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now.